is one of the first signs of spring. Warmer weather over the past week may seem harmless, but it hides a serious concern, ice jam flooding. Robert Deal and other meteorologists at the National Weather Service in Burlington have been keeping a close the, the eye on the situation. Of, so we're particularly concerned with, you know, a number of the different rivers across the area, the Winooski, the Lamoille, um, Sumsic, you know, the typical spots that always typically ice jam up. You know, we've, we had a couple of recent thaws earlier in the season that kind of created a bunch of ice jams in locations. So, you know, your, your local users are going to know exactly where those ice jams are. And, you know, those are the areas that we're going to be particularly worried about coming up this Friday. This year's threat stems from a combination of thick river ice, full ice coverage on Lake Champlain, a deep snowpack across the region, and quickly climbing temperatures. Residents along the Missisquoi River in Swanton know the kind of damage that ice jams can do. Last year, a deluge of rain and melting snow created swift rises in waters, resulting in two rounds of significant flooding along Vermont 78. Since the near historic flooding last year, Swanton's emergency manager, Bellavo has been focusing on communicating this year's risk to the public. We've put uh, notifications on our Facebook page, you know, and uh, during the first flooding, that was one of our main uh, points of contact was our Facebook page. So we put in there for people to be cautious. If you're living near the river and, you know, if you experienced flooding last year, be uh, be diligent. Bellavo says Swanton can't do much to prevent future ice jams on the Missisquoi, unlike Montpelier and other cities in Vermont. Now, residents and officials in the village are holding their breath, waiting to see if Mother Nature spares them from the worst. In Swanton, I'm meteorologist Eric Weglars, NBC5 News.